to Bob. It's been a while since we put a video together. Uh, we've uh, been able to work out a deal with Weaver. They're going to let us lease the claim for two years. Um, even though the whole claim is leased, uh, other members still have access to do recreational mining. I will put in a notice of intent to section off the small areas that I intend to work. Right here I'm standing at the northeast marker for Weaver Mining District's Golden Rod Extension, otherwise known as Claim 6. Uh, I'm real interested in pointing this out because there's some access paths, if you will, that I'm going to need. Right now we're going to walk around a small part of the northern part of the claim. I need to situate what my access points are from this road. Can you pan up, up and down this road here? This is Angel Ranch Road. It comes from Decision Corner. This is how we access the claim. It's a two-wheel drive. So, right next to us over here, there is a path, a road, if you will. We have uh, gained access to the wash that we intend to work at this point, and there's access across the road to, that's also a weaver claim, pretty much this road is the uh, claim uh, marker between 6 and 7, which is another wash down there. So there's a possibility because 7 is so close with Angel's Ranch Road right here. It's all flat and it's not vegetated in a lot of areas. I could easily set a wash plant up there with minimal reclamation or damaging uh, any of the surrounding areas. I still have to speak to Weaver uh, about that. But Alex, if you could stand here and go from this road here which is to the flat areas where we camp and we'd like to set the wash plan up on Weaver 7. Pan backwards to Angel Ranch Road heading towards Stanton. And then the road right here, or the path right here, uh, is the northernmost access point to get down to that little wash where we're going to be working. Nice and flat. Come to think of it, while I'm standing here, that is actually part of Golden, which is not a weaver claim. Look, I'm standing here looking at the line of the of the of the signage and the markers. So that's that's going to be something that we're not going to be able to use. But I still have this area over here. It's, it's real flat. It's not as not as smooth. We also have this. Area here. This is a great place to set up the wash pit. Minimal damage to to the, uh, the geography and the fauna. There's, there's nothing that needs to be moved. And the size of the wash plant that I have, uh, this it'll easily sit in this area. Now, keep an eye on that yellow marker. I mean, that light PVC marker. Anything I do, I'll have to stay south of this. South of this is Weaver Claim 6, north is the Golden Road. That's, uh, that's another claimant. has nothing to do with Weaver Mining District. And he's pretty militant. As a matter of fact, the fella that polices the area is known to pull up and, uh, on campsites and tell people to move. Uh, it's, uh, he's, he's an imposing figure. We never had a deal with him. But I've heard some horror stories about this fella. So the last thing in the world we want to do is give him ammunition to 
uh, give us a difficult time for anything. However, from the little area that I showed you, the road continues down this way. North to south. Starting at Golden up there towards the north. And then it flows the whole length of Queen number six. And as you can see, a lot of people have been in here to hit whatever the surface they've dug into the banks. But I don't think heavy machinery has ever been here. So what we're after is to make as the wash. As the wash heads north-south, my intention is to take sections that start on the uh, east bank of the wash and cuts through to the west bank of the wash. Uh, we have to work out how wide of a trench we want to make, how deep, and at one point it's going to have to have uh, enough of an angle where I can get a tractor, four-wheel drive tractor with a uh, loader back up in and out. What we'll do is, wherever we decide to begin, we'll put boulders, boulders on the south side of the trench, and we'll put any plants that we pull or overburden, or better yet, for the sake of uh, the reclamation of the topsoil. Now, I'm not worried about it in here because there's nothing growing inside the wash, but you can see on either side, uh, that's where the, the plant life begins. So we. It's not much of a topsoil, but we want to show the best, uh, I don't know, cooperation with uh, the forestry, uh, the rangers, and, and BLM. We'll take a foot off, or two if they want, and we'll relegate it to one side for when we fill in the trench. And that'll be, uh, we'll put the boulders back in. Uh, the material, by the way, as we dig it up, it's going to go up towards the wash plant. We'll accumulate several days worth of dirt, and when we feel we have enough, We'll we'll start running it, and then uh, in the same process we'll we'll backfill as we go, uh, so that uh, it'll be two phases or three phases to get rid of the uh, the topsoil, get and put the boulders to the side. That's one phase. Uh, moving the material to the wash plant until we have all we intend to use. That's going to be the second phase. Uh, third phase will be after we wash it to start back backfilling, and. By using this trench 10, 20 feet wide, it'll be easier for us to fill it. We have either side, north and south of, of, the, of the wash, to follow the contour so that we know that we're not changing the contour in any big ways. So that's the plan. We're going to go further down the wash and see what's going on.